Hi, it's Nick Aysen here. Another quantum update, a few thoughts, a few ideas, a few concepts, so you get a, an idea of what all the fuss is about. So we've talked about lots of things in the last dozen or so episodes. So let's talk about uh, a favorite topic of mine, which is espionage, spying, uh, cracking codes, and all of those kinds of cool things. And if you think about, um, during the war, Second World War, arguably, of course, it was cracking the enigma. The Germans had an advantage. They could encrypt and create ciphers that made it impossible to intercept the messages in the German war machine. And of course, the, the people at Bletchley Park, uh, led by Alan Turing, um, were able to crack enigma. And up until the point where they were able to do this of course you relied on loads and loads of people and they'd work flat out for a day uh they'd get part of the message and of course then the the germans would change the cipher and all of that effort was wasted and they had to start again and of course what turing did is he took he took something called engine two which was the first computer created by charles babbage is a very underrated individual and uh, Turin took his early designs and perfected it and created an electromechanical set of switches that in a sense parallel computate the, the, the ability to crack these codes and it worked and arguably it shortened the war by several years. So the power of being able to crack uh, modern encryption is significant and on the next chat we'll talk about spying and who's winning the spying race talk soon